Hello everyone, welcome back to another Roblox tutorial video, and today we're going to be talking about proximity prompts. So let's get started. So we're in an empty base plate scene today in Roblox Studio, and we're going to get into get started with proximity prompts. Now, proximity prompts, which was a beta feature back then, were just recently released as an actual feature. So to get started, we're just going to grab a part. I'm going to place it and we're going to add a proximity prompt to it. Now, once you add it and you click it, you're going to get these properties here. We're going to wait out first, but as soon as you add a proximity prompt to a part, once you play the game and you approach the proximity of that part, hence the name proximity prompt it will show you a UI playing, saying interact, so press E to interact. Of course, right now it doesn't do anything exactly, since we haven't added any scripts. Now, we're going to bug around with this. Uh, the properties. We've got here object text. Now, the action text is what says interact. The object text is... For example, let's say, uh, change color. And if, before we go into game, we got the keyboard key code, which we can change to anything. For example, let's say, let's change it to D. Hold duration, if you want it to hold for five seconds. That's how that works. Gamepad. This is more for controller, which I'm not going to focus on. And exclusivity, you can further research that if you're curious in the Roblox API page, which I will link in the description. Now style, I will not go into further detail, but if you want to customize your UI, you can click custom. And you can either read the tutorial on the Roblox developer page on how to do that, or find a video. Now, since we've done all of the, uh, gone over all of this, we're gonna click play here, and we've changed our text to say color, change color. So if we go close now, it should say D change color interact and considering we did the hold we have to wait five seconds before it can activate so now since we've got that straightforward we're going to change this to two seconds and instead of d because that moves my character we're going to change it to f now to get started with scripting a proximity prompt we're going to first want to go into the proximity prompt and we're going to add a script. And in this script, we're going to have to reference the proximity prompt, so script.parent. Make this bigger for you. And we're going to say um, dot trigger, which means it was activated, clicked. And we're going to say connect, since this is an event. We're going to add function and we're going to add player now by default roblox when the proximity prompt is triggered will pass the player parameter automatically saying which player triggered the button so if we wanted to say print player dot n dot think dot name could be wrong it will give us the name of the player and we'll well, what do we want to do here? This is what happens. So, for our, our text, I said uh, change color. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the brick change color. So, we're going to script.parent.parent. And we're going to say dot brick color equals new brick color. And, oops, brick color dot new we're gonna say baby blue 
and it's going to change the color now. So if we go into ga the game, as you can see, that when we press the F key first, we have to wait two seconds, one, two, and it changes the color. And it also says in the bottom, in green. Please note that it says in green because this is a server script, not a local script. So let's put up another example. Let's say we want to teleport a player. Let's put another part. I'll we'll just make a simple teleporter. We want to teleport the player to, let's say, this part right here. And we're going to disable can collide and we're going to anchor it. Let's say tele teleport part. Now we're going to go over here, go to our script, and we're going to say position. Let's see if I miss something else. I need a vector 3. Anyways, as I was saying, once we interact with our button now, we should get teleported. And if we do it again, we'll still get teleported. Anyways, that is the proximity prompt tutorial. Uh, I hope this helps. If it does, please like so the algorithm can find more people. And uh, if you have any questions, I'm not the best scripter, but uh, you can ask in the comments section below. Anyways, that's it for me. Uh, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.